Hi, uh, welcome back. Today, uh, I've got another unboxing. I'm um, shooting these back to back, or all together I should say, because I got a new camera, and I don't know if the audio is gonna suck here. And if it does, I guess I'll have to figure something else out and you probably won't be watching this. But if you are, uh, we got a new camera. I'm trying to get that to work a little bit better, and I've got some stuff that's really exciting that I've been wanting to open, but I've been saving it so I could do this. Um, so, the other video will be the Spear Mirabilis busts, um, and then this one is a nice package from Games Workshop themselves, and this is uh, the Horse Heresy Siege of Terra, the Gero Novella, uh, limited edition. So, if you're unfamiliar with these, they're beautiful limited edition copies, hand-signed, numbered, leather-bound books, uh, gold leaf edges, you'll see it in a minute, but they're beautiful, beautiful books. Um, and as I mentioned with the Spira stuff, uh, once they're gone, they are expensive on the secondhand market. I know that um, the first book in the horse in the Siege Terror series is, is the Solar War. Um, I've seen them go for like eight hundred dollars. So they're very nice books, but the content is why people love them. And it's been there's been like really high points in the series so far, I think. And overall, it's kind of. I'm not sure I like love all the decisions that they've made, but we're coming down to the end, and I'm reading the sixth book right now. Um, seventh book? The seventh book right now, because the eighth one is going to be two parts. But anyway, that's what we're looking at today, so let's look at it. All right, unboxing. Here it is. Um, if you watch the other video that I just put up, hopefully just put up together with this one, um, or the intro for this one, I think that you probably hear my stupid heater in my apartment going, which is not stupid when I'm trying not to freeze to death, but when I'm trying to shoot videos, it's probably important not to have it on, and I'm a little worried about the audio with the camera anyway, so hopefully... Hopefully, like, that's all okay. This guy's guess what I'm getting at here. So, uh, Gero, uh, number 2,441. Um, never had any issues. I don't, uh, maybe one time I had a little issue with one of the books that had come. Um, had a little smashing on it. Not so bad that, like, I even worried about contacting them, and I'm pretty fussy about making sure that my... Nice things are nice. Um, as you can see that I'm not like trying to tear the stupid tissue paper, but there's always a nice, uh, most of the time you get a really cool like personalized for the what's going on in the story. So Garrow with kind of this like pre-inquisition dealio. And Nice box in the box that'll go in the closet forever. And we've got our book here, so. If anybody knows how to keep the camera focused, you let me know. Um, so, Garrow, Knight of Grey, son of a bitch, by James Swallow. Um, this is like an embossed thing, like this is like a physical metal thing. But you do have to be careful when you got them on your bookshelf because you don't want it to um, imprint on something else, so let's see if I can read it because I'm all upside down right now. Uh, it says, I have faced death many times against impossible odds and still I live. There must be a reason by the throne. Once I was told that I was of purpose, I chose to hold on to that still. Old Nathaniel Garrow, is he dead in this book or what? Because if he fights Mortarion like that, he's probably not going to live, right? This was a little bit weird just from the narrative uh, perspective because they wrote Mortarion out of the story in a book that was previous to this one. So, obviously they're kind of backstepping. So, got our nice uh, author signature from James 